Seek ye the kingdom of heaven, and all things shall be added unto you. I saw white spirits and black spirits engaged in battle, and the sun was darkened. The thunder rolled in the heavens, and blood flowed in streams. And I heard a voice saying, Such is your luck, such you are called to see, and let it come rough or smooth. You must surely bear it. For as the blood of Christ had been shed on this earth, and had ascended to heaven for the salvation of sinners, and was now returning to earth again in the form of dew. And as the leaves on the trees bore the impression of the figures I had seen in the heavens, it was plain to me that the Savior was about to lay down the yoke he had borne for the sins of men, and the great day of judgment was at hand.
symbols. Yes, sir. Understand this without readers. No, 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 sir, uh, General Nat. I, I, I mean, yes, sir. Read something for me. Yeah, I'll read something for you. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 22. Servants, obey in all things. Your master... No! No more brainwashing. No more white man lies. Read Psalms chapter 149. Okay. Psalms 149, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, brethren. Sing unto the Lord a new song. It's time for a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. We are the saints of the living God. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Be joyful tonight, brethren. Our king is coming to redeem us. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. The Lord has pleasure in us, brothers. The Lord has taken pleasure in us. He will brutify the meek with salvation. This is salvation is for us. The salvation is for the freedom of your brothers, of your sisters, of your mothers. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Hallelujah! Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Let the spirit of the Most High God will the spirit into the sword of will the executioner. So execute vengeance upon the heat. The spirit is moving tonight to execute vengeance upon these heathens. Vengeance upon those who raped our mothers and killed our fathers. And punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. It's time for their kings to be in shackles. It's time for their kings to eat in the slop pits. To execute upon them the judgment written. God has made you men judges tonight. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living God. Let us face the east and pray. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. Hear the prayers of the dead Israelites and your long suffering. Have mercy upon your saints, O God, the God who hangeth the earth upon nothing the God who created the fountains abounding with water, he who has set a compass upon the face of the depth, he who established the clouds above, the God who created the moon that gives us light, the God who holds up the sun, who makes the thunder to roar, our God who has ears to hear, you who are hidden in the chariots of clouds, who watches us from where you are, you see all the wickedness that the white man has done unto your chosen. Their wrath has become unbearable, oh God. The white man's God requires bloodshed and violence, but our God wants us to do good. Lord God, quickly and speedily avenge us of our enemies. Who is so good and so just? Put your spirit in us to avenge our wrongs. God, you are our shield and buckler. It's he 
who will direct our arms and bring us this victory. It's he who will fight for us. Let our souls rejoice, for tonight shall not a single man, woman, child, or beast be spared. Lord, hear the prayers of your saints. Give us liberty or give us death. August 21st, 1831, Nat Turner led a slave revolt that resulted in the deaths of 55 to 65 white people. Turner led a group of slaves carrying farm implements in a rebellion against slavery. As they went from plantation to plantation, they gathered horses and guns, freed other slaves along the way, and recruited other blacks that wanted to join their revolt. In retaliation, enraged white militias and mobs killed more than 200 black people in the course of putting down the rebellion. In the aftermath, the state quickly arrested and executed 57 blacks accused of being part of Turner's slave rebellion. Turner hid successfully for two months. When found, he was quickly tried, convicted, sentenced to death, hanged, beheaded, and quartered. Today, within the past 30 years, inside the United States of America, under the Board of Education, particularly in New York City, there is evidence of the story of Nat Turner, being taught to the students as an inaccurate, more romanticized version or story of the actual events surrounding the experiences that influenced the radical thinking and eventual raging episodes of Nat Turner. These popular versions or stories have produced in many of the minds of conscious thinking people to assert that the more recent depiction of the transatlantic slave trade, which is now reduced to the more romanced renaming of the transatlantic migration, and that his recent depiction is due to the romanticizing of the realities of the true saga of the slavery experience. The Holy Bible speaks about the importance of vision. Nat Turner would actually read the Holy Bible to the other slaves. He would focus on biblical accounts of victories won by the children of Israel against their oppressors. Nat Turner would use such passages from the Bible as fuel for insurrection against his captors. This is where vision was the focal point of the Nat Turner rage. Well, today, well, after the subsequent capture and mock trial and death of Nat Turner, you have in these times many leaders who are descendants from the same slave that came through the era of Nat Turner. They seem now to be grabbing at straws, seeking a solution to rid the captives from the American captors. However, what's so important to notice in today's captivity is the way that this same system of slavery has changed, but yet the system in its original design and function is still carried out. It is carried out mentally and spiritually. During the era of Nat Turner and days of chattel physical slavery, the associated atrocities and effects were so absolutely more apparent. The violent, raging ways to overthrow such a system then would, at that time, be deemed as an absolute necessity befitting of a type of physical war rebellion. In other words, an eye for an eye and a foot for a foot. It would not take too much mental muscle to execute that. Although the actual execution of even that type of plan, in essence, would be much more complex. Nevertheless, it in history, it would be executed by Nat Turner in particular, because he saw that the results of not striking a blow for freedom from the oppressors would spell out the immediate atrocious reality of what was plainly seen in the everyday life of the slave in bondage. But today, in these recent times, the atrocities and their root causes are not so apparent. Why? 
because they are buried underneath layers of understanding, layers of whitewashed history, and secret councils that hide their origin. Deceptive complexities and convolutions have been introduced into the saga of the American slavery system, as well as its seemingly oblivious understanding of this same system. So now you have today the descendants groping around looking for solutions, looking in all of the wrong places. The leaders of this same people are for the most part are like the blind in a dark room, searching for the light switch, which is not the right light switch. That will show that it is, in fact, noon. The Bible speaks, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Thinking is a process that takes place in the mind, within the spirit of people who make the effort to examine the elements of their reality, and then imagine a vision which organizes the elements of their reality into a foreseeable and workable plan that brings about a solution to a given situation. The leaders of today need to understand that the war and fight before them today is spiritual. This war is to be fought through the application of biblical scripture, and they also must understand that it is through the discipline in adhering to the scriptures of the Holy Bible is absolutely required. The Valley of Dry Bones are now awakened. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, and exceeded great on Pants and black boots. It's war time. Send the prayers up and call the troops. Blow the trumpets, the prophets that risen from the dead. That valley of them dry bones, the spirit is bad. Laying open the book of law to teach the people. Crying loud as a trumpet trying to reach the people. Scopus, naysayers, you hypocrites. And keep it one damn law, your honor with your lips. Blind guys leading the blind into a pit. You two fold the child of hell, then your pastor is. Once a people with no mercy, we will pass the kids. All praises to the Father, we've been reconciled. Rebirth, resurrected, and regenerated. Sin using flesh, cover bones that were naked. This holy Bible is the antidote to heal the people. But we still some stiff neck and rebellious children. Either you repent, or you gon' die frying. But you wanna get rich, and you gon' die trying. We in the chief concourses of God's people. Dropping knowledge like the hammer, Judah Maccabees. South corner, let's move. Stomping false doctrine coming to a city near you. Christianity ain't shit. Islam ain't shit. If you're not an Israelite, then your life ain't shit. I advise you to open up the Bible and read. Natives, blacks, and Hispanics with that chosen seed. Where the people Christ came for and chose to bleed. And he's coming back in vengeance with that fervent heat. Damn, being burnt worse than a first degree. I'm trying to slide in the chariot, first class seat. I'm trying to reign with my brothers, rule the earth like kings. Damn, living here with luxury, my people are slaves. Stacking brick upon brick, being pain and labor. With the army of the most high God is favorite. Uh. Okay, look, bold is a lion, we trying to wake our people up. Wisdom is crying her words, give peace to the just. Knowledge is strength, the sinners, they looking weak to us. Our life made earners wanna be for us. Long as the moon in the sky and the clouds in the air, the nation of Israel will be here. Me and I don't fear, the scriptures make them look foolish. His army showing valor like we got the sword of Judas. They look foolish, trying to come against the prophets. Doing that false doctrine, they all sodish. Plus destroy for a lack of knowledge, it's the purple religion. You can hate, but can't change a thing. When they ought to be teachers, have need to be taught again. It's the substance of the thing hoped for, and the evidence of the thing not seen. 
Now if you wonder what I said that for, well I'm just showing you it fake me. Okay, Martin had a dream. I hate how that sound right there. Cause that same dream was Mike Brown nightmare. Hold hands with Matthew, you must be kidding me. Cause it was written, you should never trust your enemy. Israel stand up. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. The times are getting harder, the is getting closer. I'm fighting through the struggle. The devil's tapping on my shoulder. Somebody say your breath for me. I'm trying to keep it faith. But my best is pulling at me, trying to put me in the grave. The times are getting harder, the heat is getting closer. I'm fighting through the struggle. The devil's tapping on my shoulder. Somebody say your breath for me. I'm trying to keep it faith. But my best is pulling at me, trying to put me in the grave. I lost my family in my soul. All right, camera's rolling. No, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to be walking around looking at them. You're not coming over here yet. We got to shoot over here separately. Two. One. Action. Ruben, go this way. Just walk through. And then they'll say. A little louder so we can turn on that. Two. One. Action. Get on that. Get on that. Keep going, keep going. Step off. Step off. So walk that way, walk that way. Captain, come look at this. Keep, keep, keep looking at them. Nat, look at all of them. Walk forward. Keep going. You gotta be a little closer too.
what's up, my day is real. We all fighting our own personal battles, you did. But bless this heat that endures until the end.